Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. It seems that one of the biggest bones of contention between flat earthers and defenders of the globe is the choice of description or way of explaining certain observations, whether it's a sunset, something that happens across the sea or the land or up in the sky. But there is an understanding with the flat earther that observations and even scientific results can be described in many different ways and often require a presupposition or assumption that can then be built on to formulate a bigger picture. So I just wanted to use this warmish water. It's at about 35 degrees centigrade, so it's not even up to boiling, it's just warm. And this syringe, just put a bit of water in it. Excuse my dog barking. Uh, get the, the air out. Move this over a bit. And uh, hopefully you don't mind the dogs having their nightly howl. That's what they do, so I'll leave them to it. And what I'm going to do is seal off this so we've got more or less you know, a vacuum. And if I pull down on this, we see that the water boils. So how do we choose to describe this? Is this anything to do with gravity? Or is it more to do with the fact that I tried to create a vacuum, reduced the pressure of the air, so the gases in the water, the hydrogen and the oxygen, are rushing to fill the void? This is very simple science. And seems to me to show two things. One, that we live at a certain equilibrium. There's an equilibrium between the water and the air. If you disrupt that equilibrium, then that's when you get potential forces. So dense things have to be put in the air before they can be dropped through the air, in which case they will try to reach a like density, just like the gases in this water. I didn't do anything to gravity. I didn't overcome gravity. All I did was create a pocket of very thin air in which the gases in the water wanted to rush and fill to restore the equilibrium. So it shows us that everything around us is immediately affected by everything else around us. To tell us that we are on a ball of a certain mass and that is what is creating your weight is ridiculous when we look at natural science and the reality that things like our weight are relative to the medium in which we are in and that goes for everything. So when we see these bubbles forming and we know that Uh, oxygen and hydrogen are what make up water, then why isn't science finding an easy way to extract these gases in that way? It also gives us clues to the fact that we have to be in a sealed environment to have these differences in pressures uh, creating uh, fluctuations in the equilibrium. It happens all the time with temperature. You get low pressure, high pressure areas. <laughs> that can't happen, really, unless you're in an enclosed system where all the elements can 
churn around and bounce off each other resist each other because that's what they do they reach an equilibrium and if you disrupt the equilibrium as we saw with the water in the syringe something happens to try and restore the equilibrium not gravity thank you very much